Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Welcome to an underground car park in Lisbon, Portugal. I'm here working with BMW, doing some stuff around their partnership of the Web Summit. However, it's my first time in Lisbon, it's my first time at a tech conference, and it's my first time with the keys to an i3. And considering that I'm really struggling to make videos at the moment with all the planning for Drive the World, I asked BMW if I could take a couple of hours to head out and make a bit of a travel vlog. Now apparently Lisbon is big on its food and seeing as it is coming up to 9am I reckon that is breakfast time. So how do I turn this thing on? Start, start, stop. Are we on? That's the problem with electric cars, you never really know do you? Um, reverse, no handbrake. <gasps> well away! As you might have seen, this is naked. Now, if you don't know, I essentially like to eat like a Insta Ho uh, smoothies, acai bowls, acai, acai bowls. Uh, yeah, anything that's green, right up my street. And I basically found this place by Googling most Instagrammable places to eat in Lisbon. So, uh, yes, anyway, I've got my, uh, got my laptop. I'm gonna plug on some work and eat some really embarrassingly Instagrammable food. I think Naked lived up to its reputation. That was a pretty spot on start to the day. Now headed back to the i3S. I didn't mention that earlier. This is an i3S. It's the newer, more powerful version. Would help if I could. Where's the key? So yes, i3S, it's got a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque, but I think more importantly, it sits lower and wider than the standard i3, and I think in this spec, it actually looks kind of mean. It's almost like BMW have sort of enhanced or modified their own product. Uh, it's something that maybe Yanomai's would produce. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot so far. It's, I'm a big fan of electric cars in cities. I think uh, it does kind of make sense. Very nearly uh, boffed into that car behind me. Uh, is there anything that's a little bit lurchy? Thought I was in reverse there. Oh! <laughs> That was possibly one of the scariest and most stupid things I've ever done in a car. I'm gonna stop filming now and concentrate on getting out of this parking space. After my very nearly disastrous uh, parking moment, I have now made it over to Belém. Belém. But I've realised that I Portuguese to me sounds just so foreign. I really can't make out any Portuguese, and I can't pronounce any of it. But I'm in this area that a lot of you recommended, and holy poodle, that is stunning! Oh, here comes the rain. We weren't expecting rain today. Got the old wipers on. What is this? Is it like an old cathedral? This, oh, I, I mean, that's an Instagram photo, isn't it? So everyone said that this area was particularly beautiful. I'm starting to understand why. And Starbucks! Starbucks, that means that this is a prime tourist destination. Uh, again, I can understand why. Now, this junction looks a bit 
sketchy. I haven't really got used to driving in Lisbon yet, and because I'm in an electric vehicle, no one hears me coming. Not only have I nearly boofed this car leaving a parking space, but I've nearly run over about 17 Portuguese people. But wow, this is nuts. Yeah, I definitely need to pull over and get some photos and check out this place. This is quite interesting. I've managed to park up next to a standard i3. Here is my Web Summit i3S. I think you can straight away see those sort of changes that I mentioned to you, the wider arch and the lower right height. Like you can almost see the difference in the roof line. Mine just looks beastly. Anyway, onwards, onwards with our journey. If I can, am I gonna be able to get in that gap? Have I parked a little too close? Yeah, uh. So, a quick reminder as to why I'm here. I'm working with BMW, who are one of the official partners of this year's Web Summit. Now, I think the Web Summit is either the world's biggest or one of the world's biggest tech conferences. Maybe CS in America is the same equivalent size, but I popped in yesterday and it's absolutely mental. There is so much going on, so many people, so much business taking place. It's kind of exciting though. I sort of feel like I want to wander around pretending to be an angel investor or the CEO of some kind of new startup. It's just all, it's all happening and I feel a little bit left out that I'm just a YouTuber. Uh, but anyway, this is all about BMW's push to integrate more tech into their cars. And this week they've actually announced the launch of the BMW IPA, Intelligent Personal Assistant, which is essentially a sort of Siri or Alexa for your car. I find that quite interesting because a lot of car brands now are sort of trying to integrate more tech. A lot of the launches I go to, they're always talking about, oh, this car's got so much tech. Usually that correlates to touch screens. That seems to be the sort of, you know, industry standard for more tech touch screens. And I don't really like that because I find it a bit distracting. I've long said, Surely the simple solution is to have a sort of Siri or Alexa in the car that works because let's not forget five or ten years ago There was voice control in cars and it never worked But a system that works because then you can be driving along and just go in this case Hey BMW take me to a petrol station So I like the BMW are one of the people sort of pushing to sort of get that system up and running Anyway, I'm going to head there in a few hours to show you a little bit more about exactly what goes on at the Web Summit and exactly what BMW are doing there. But before I go, I want to have more food. Because <laughs> I like to eat. I, I, there is an obese man stuck inside this awkwardly overweight body. Uh, but I, I just keep hearing that Lisbon's so great for food. And as yummy as my acai bowl, acai bowl was this morning, it was not that satisfying. So I'm going to head to the centre of town, to the castle, uh, Castelo, Castelo again Portuguese um, and then try and find a sort of cool restauranty bar around that area because there must be some I think that's a very another very touristy spot so yes another quick bite to eat a tiny bit more exploration and then finally we'll head to the web summit and I'll show you what looks like a sort of I don't really know what it looks like it's just madness it's absolute madness but oh also look this thing is so quick sport mode and apologize because I know I'm pouring with sweat and this is disgusting so I'll get through this really quickly I just hiked up the hill the mountain of Lisbon to a restaurant called Champito um, and the view up here is nuts as you may have seen um, but I need water and I need food and I need to calm down so I'll do that show you some more of the view and catch up with you in a sec I've definitely now eaten enough food for a small family, so I think it's probably time to jump back in the i3S and head to the Web Summit. I've got a bit of a walk back to the car, which will be good because it walks off all that food I have just consumed. It gives me another chance to keep looking around the city. I cannot wait to get back here next year. My first impressions of Lisbon, I was a little bit underwhelmed, but today, exploring and especially coming to this part, I think it's freaking wicked. Anyway, yeah, to 
for the Web Summit. Well, did I not tell you that this place is bloody mental? I have now fought my way through the crowds and made it onto the BMW stand, and there is a lot of stuff going on up here. But right behind me is the brand new 3 Series. I hadn't even seen this yet, but they are using it to demonstrate that new intelligent personal assistant that I mentioned earlier, so I feel like I need to jump in that car and have a go when the time is right. Lots of interesting stuff happening up here, but lots of interesting people knocking around on the stand. And I feel like I want to grab some of them and hear their thoughts on this whole sort of tech an auto merging theory that I have because it is a big discussion topic at this year's web summit and as I say I just want to know what some other people think about it so uh, yeah anyway, let's explore and see who we can grab. I've moved over to the sort of test drive area because amazingly people that are attending the summit can come and drive BMWs. Yes. Hopefully we're not going to get run over because <laughs> I've been joined by UFC superstar Paige Van Zandt. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. I yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. I think my audience might be quite excited about this but um, let's start things off. Do you like cars? I love cars. Do you? Yes. And before I before I could afford any sporty cars, I, I tried to make my little Honda as sporty <laughs> as possible. It wasn't quite cool as cool as these uh, BMWs, but it was it was what I worked Have with. Have you got a chance? I drove the uh, is this the, the I8. I8? So oh you know how quick gosh, that is. I it like, loved wow. It. The poor guy who was in the passenger seat letting me drive may have been a little scared. I was, <laughs> I was flooring it as much as you I could. You had to though, right? Yes. When they go uh -huh. to test drive, like, okay, well, I'm going to well, max I'm gonna it out. Test this car. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing, whilst I'm here, I'm trying to look at how tech and auto are kind of coming together. Well, I feel like they're coming together, and obviously with the BMW i cars they are. But for you, like, how important is it? Like, when you get in, do you care about the infotainment system, the sat nav, and stuff? Like, does that? Yes. So for me, I spend a lot of time in the car, traveling from gym session to gym session to gym session. So <laughs> I have fun. three different training stage uh, gyms all over. Uh, I live in Portland, Oregon, so I'm driving all over the place and I'm in my car a lot. So when you spend hours and hours in your car, having the technology and the luxury and, and that comfort makes a huge difference. It makes the ride more comfortable, it makes everything enjoyable for you, so you actually have fun getting from place to place. Would you like there to be a time in our lives when we don't have to drive, it's all autonomous, you just get in and the car takes no, you? No, 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 no. Okay, I good. like to drive. <laughs> no, so no, you no. are a proper car person. I, yes, I am a proper car person. I Brilliant. love driving. I love, um, I can tend to have a lead foot, so sure, I have sure. a few speeding tickets in my day, but uh, no, I, I love to drive. I feel like my dream job if I wasn't a fresh fighter, it would be an NASCAR driver. Oh my so. god, okay, this is amazing. Yeah. You can make the transition, <laughs> finish your fighting, and head on and over. And head on over. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to be thank you. Yeah, thank you. the BMW pop-up van which unbelievably created way too much joy and amusement for the end of the day but it feels like the perfect time or way to end today's video. I'm on such a high, I want to go raving with trumpet players. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed today's video, a bit of an exploration of Lisbon, big thanks to BMW for lending me the i3s. I've got another day here uh, at the Web Summit tomorrow doing a bit more work with them. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's video and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.